Great. Now we're going to do what I call the picture association okay, part of the cool. interview. <laughs> this is the dessert for the host. I love this part. <laughs> so I'm going to hold them up and you can explain what's going on here. Now, who are these two? So these are my moms, Audrey and Karen. Um, awesome. Audrey is on the left, Karen is on the right. Um, and so Karen is the CEO of Gilda's Club and yeah. Audrey is a, a lifelong um, English teacher. Um, she has she used to teach high school and now she teaches in the men's prison. That's, um, wow, so that is amazing. She's, yeah, she's pretty cool too, That's they both awesome. are. Now, where's this picture? This is you very young. Yes, this is with my mom, Karen, on a beach in New England. It's one of our my favorite pictures of, of us together. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so actually her hair is long in this picture because she used to have long hair. Right. Um, and when I got sick and needed to cut my hair off for chemotherapy, mm -hmm. she cut hers with me. I so now you. she has short hair, but I still have long hair because I, I grew you. back. <laughs> and at work, did you have cancer at that time? Or I, it was right before I got sick. Okay, okay. And this picture is? Yeah, so it works perfectly into, this is my little sister Jillian um, when I was bald, so for, for okay. chemotherapy. Um, yeah, she's my, my very best friend along with my other sister Tegan. And this is a picture that looks like dinner maybe? Yes, so that's restaurant. Karen, my mom, with her short hair. Like I said, she, it's still short. And then Tegan over here when she was much much younger, now she looks as old as I do. She, she really <laughs> looks older than 14. I love but, it. But yeah. And now who's this? This is my little cousin Kaylee. I, you know, in addition to my sisters, I have a lot of little cousins that are really, really important to me. I'm sure. the oldest of all of them, so I try to be sort of like a big sister. Um, but this is us at her brother's uh, football game. Okay, and here's another cute right picture. Yes, oh my gosh. So this is Tegan, Jillian, and then my little cousin Piper. She's really like a third sister to me. She spends a lot of time at our house. Um, okay. And yeah, they're just like the best people in my life. That's for sure. awesome. Now, I love this photo. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my very favorite photo of me ever, probably, because um, it was after I had climbed a volcano on my uh -huh. 20th birthday. Um, so that's pretty cool. Regardless, I was so lucky to be able to do that. But um, but it was kind of scary for me because since I, I bleed pretty easily because mm. of my condition, yeah. climbing on sharp rocks is like always kind of scary. But I did it anyway, face the fear, and it was awesome. While you're on awesome. the show, you've got moxie. That's yeah, it right no, there. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. It was, an, it was an awesome experience. Now, what's going on here? What's this? Right, so I said in the beginning of the interview, St. Francis is a really special place. So this mm -hmm. is what we made, not at the Kentucky Marriage Equality, but during the Prop 8 case um, okay. a few years earlier. Um, and it says, St. Francis believes in liberty and justice for all, and every single student, staff member, custodian, okay. our head of school, everybody signed it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's to mm -hmm. have that school in the middle of Kentucky, in the middle of the South, is, awesome. is a really special thing. Now, this looks like maybe one of your first political activists. It was. Things. I what's really this? caught the activist bug at Stanford. So this is actually um, a rally for uh, for climate change. Um, so it says change the politics, change the climate. That's the whole picture. It's not all no. visible there. But yeah, that's my freshman year at Stanford. Now, is this you heading off to Stanford? What is this? That's me heading off to Spain. Um, oh, so, well, of course. Spain. Yeah. She's 20. Stanford's on the... Well, I'm an international relations this major, so that's this the best true. part. Um, yeah. So Stanford's on the quarter system, so I actually got to go abroad twice, once to Spain and once okay. to Cape Town, South Africa. Um, yeah. Both amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. I'd never gotten to... Yeah. So that's me in South Africa. I'd never gotten to travel internationally before yeah. going to college, and so it was a... a that's awesome. Super... Yeah. So you've been to experience. Spain. Where else have you been? You've been to... Well, you're obviously California. Yeah, um, so only other uh, foreign countries other than Spain and South Africa are Ecuador and Costa Rica. Um, Ecuador was also with, with Stanford. So I've been very blessed um, that the school has helped me so much to travel. That's awesome. So did you develop this logo in Stanford? No, I did not. I, um, I have, I, you know, I think part of being a good leader is knowing where your strengths are not. Yeah, and I am uh, yeah, not I a good artist. Um, so my friend Sharon is like the most incredible That's graphic great. designer. And I was like, I need a good one and I need you to do this. Thank you.